Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome to the flip side with Jane Well, episode 78. Two guys from two worlds. This is the flip side. New episodes uploaded on YouTube every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Now, your host, Jay Noel. What's up, man? Good morning. So is this schedule really working out for you? <laughs> you really looked out. You look like you literally rolled to your right off the bed, one foot down and walked over to the mic. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh yeah 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 yeah. it's uh i'd rather i'd rather have a hard time waking up that it's it's harder to fall asleep at the wrong time uh i I shoot my own foot with this but yeah it's harder for me to fall asleep at the right time than to try to wake up i would figure it'd be the other way around though like maybe for me it'd be like it's harder for me to do the morning shows to be honest with you Mm -hmm. not because the fact of waking up Mm. But the fact that my brain's still trying to boot up, you know, it's still uploading. Mm-mm-mm. So well, it's like I don't have like much in my head in the morning. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, I, well, I'm actually used to it, believe it or not. And I actually miss it because it, I mean, it reminds me of the, of the radio days. I told you about that story waking up like at four o'clock. Yeah. Or five o'clock in the, or was it six o'clock? Yeah, six o'clock in the evening. Mm. And, you know, rushing out of uh, the house thinking that it was four o'clock in the morning in Baguio. Right, right. But yeah, yeah. Fun times. Good, good memories. <laughs> <laughs> good memories. What was your call sign? <laughs> Just no, I don't know. That, at that time, it was like Max Moreno on the radio. Max Moreno was your show name. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember what Max that was all Moreno. about. Moreno. I mean, how did you come up with that? I mean, honestly, it sounds like a porn name. Exactly. That was... My name is Max Moreno. Welcome to the morning drive. Right. Yeah, it was something like that. Do you do you remember your call outside? What do you mean, uh, call outside? You mean for the radio station? Or whatnot? You know, isn't there typically an intro for people? Max Moreno on campus radio. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. All right, that's kind of good, though. But anyway, um, how was your week? <laughs> How's everything? Sorry, I'm, I'm like. I'm tired no, today. No, you know, we just dude, got back. Which drive. one of us is the tired one here? Let's stop skirting around. Let's talk about I'm a it. Little, actually, I'm a little tired, but not too tired. It's mainly um, spill the beans. Sucks to be back in the real world. We all know what huh? we're here for. <laughs> and then let's not skirt around and like ask me how I am and how's your sleep and all this. Let's get right to it. Come on. Give it to me. Oh. What are you got going? Sending, sending me all these camping pictures, like family in the tent, fishing, you know. Say, come on, give it all to right. me. All right. You were I, jealous. I could You were it. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. What camping this weekend? A freaking it little was bit. awesome. It was awesome. Oh, let me tell you, though, I was telling uh, Christine that the the pictures that you were sending me, especially the one where you were looking over the lake, you know, everything without the lake reminds me of uh, John Hay back in the days before they gave it back to the uh, U.S. government. Oh, really? I mean, before the U.S. government gave it gave it to the Philippine government. Yeah, like the whole aura, the whole serenity of it again without the lake. Reminds right. me of uh, John Hay back in the days, like especially like nine, 19th T and Mile High. Yeah, right, so. right. Have you been? I, there? It was. It's. Uh, it, we went to this place in Pennsylvania called Lake Racetown Resort. Uh, I believe we talked about this before. Mm. Uh, 
this was a man-made lake. It was made by the uh, Marine Corps. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know when, to be honest with you. But it, it was a beautiful place, you know? I mean, it's beautiful. This was the morning shot, the following. It was mm -hmm. foggy. Our, our campsite was literally maybe 150 yards from the water, which is not bad at all. Maybe 100 I, yards. I mean, can you blame me for being jealous? Yeah, right. I was I was kind of hoping, you know, there'd be ants, bugs all over the place. Oh, there's a lot of bugs, that's for sure. A Maybe lot of bugs, but... a lot of mud. And yeah, it wasn't, you know, it was, no, it wasn't bad. no place to lie down. Yeah. It was uh <laughs> no no it wasn't bad. No this pic tent nope. that we had. No picnic benches, no parking. Right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have do I have bug bites? Yeah, I got plenty, man. I got plenty of bug bites, but it wasn't too bad in general. Mm. We had because we had this. We were able to get this canopy here. It's like it's surrounded by like a, a tent. So I was about to bugs. ask, is that where you you parked your car? The car is right in front of it. Not like inside. Did you put the car inside? No, no. Why would you put a car <laughs> inside? It doesn't even make sense. That's because where we uh that's like our food and eating station or whatever during the nighttime where we kept our food. We have like a makeshift sink over there, our supplies, the tent fit all of us. It was huge, the tent. Yeah. Although this canopy is um uh, and that was the cooking supplies that we had. Yeah. Oh look, coffee oh. mate. Let me show yeah. you what I got for breakfast this morning, just to uh, even things out a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. That looks mm. good. Is that mango peach? Yeah. Peach mango pie. So do you warm it up or what? Put it in the microwave? Yeah. Uh, thin just came in and out to uh, put it in the oven real quick. Hold on. I'm going to. Try to get her a microphone on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my lady. Good morning. Good morning, Tin. Good morning. How are you? Uh, she can't hear you. Doesn't have a headset. <laughs> she wants to hear your story, too. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. How are you, Tin? Can you hear me now? Give no, me a thumbs up. Not oh, yet, not the hell? Hello. No, no, not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Hello, TikTok world. People are in and out. Hit the like button. Check it out. If you've been to Lake Racetown Resort, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Man, my eye bags are horrifying. You. Like good morning, Tin. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, she's uh, secretly oh. obsessed in uh, cleaning up the house a little bit, making some minor improvements yeah. here and there. It's like every other day, there's like a Lala move or Shopee delivery coming over. Nice. <laughs> it's like my nice. routine now is when somebody knocks at the door, Anayan, Kistin, Magano. <laughs> <laughs> 250 or 250 though. Okay, sandali lang. And then I come back. Come back out with the money. Let's go back to the camping. Let's hear about so, it. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you know, I've been talking about going camping for a while now. And finally, this week's weather for this, this weekend was actually great. You know, um, although I've never gone to a camping trip with a family, the entire family. I've always gone by myself before. Mm. So when I went, I usually just bring a small tent, a uh, sleeping bag, and my little cooking supplies. That's it. You know, a little bit of food that I make on my own. And I just pitch in and whatnot. This time around, it's like a little different because we had to pack a lot of stuff. You know, we had the big tent, the canopy, the chairs, cooler, a box of food and supplies, which is like we're talking about plates, the gas stove. Or the butane stove and the gas canisters, whatever. It took forever. 
Right, well, hold on, I, hold on. I want to jump to the meat and potatoes. Who who was complaining? Was, was anybody complaining? Did anybody get into a fight? No, nobody's really complaining. You know, some people <laughs> here and there, but not much, which is great. You know, I'm imagining um, the typical, you know, Hollywood. Like, oh, do we have to go? And then I'm gonna be missing my friends this weekend. I don't want to go. <laughs> is there gonna be Wi-Fi there? Well. We got there. It was like maybe an, we only had about an hour of sunlight left, right? So as soon as we got there, we tried to unload the truck and put put up things like tents, the pitches and the chairs and whatever. And it took a while because it got dark pretty quick. Plus, it was chilly. It was like 45 degrees already at night. What? Were you like a little uh, Filipino commander? There's like you, you, you put up the tent. You, you start cooking. You, I'm gonna park the car. I'm gonna no. be back in two minutes. Or were you like, okay, wait, everybody, I'm going to fix everything. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, as, as much as I didn't want to do much in regards to that, I, I, because I have a broken foot, so it made everything harder. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. So I'm literally wobbling around. Help! My son was helping. My wife was helping. We were putting up the tent. Uh, Malaya was uh, watching uh, Aria. The dogs running around. Whatever. So it took us to put everything. Up. It took us a while to put everything up. Maybe a total time an hour, right? So we got everything up, and then we had to. Luckily, before we got there, nagba on si misis, nagba on si ng adobo and uh, wow. rice. Cooked and ready to go. Cooked and ready to go. <laughs> so, so as soon as we got all the, well, the supplies out, she was just okay. Kaina, let's see. I was uh, like, oh wow! Even cold adobo tasted so good. It was ridiculous, you know, because we didn't like, have time to like warm it up anymore. It was already late. Somebody knew what she was doing. At least one of you guys knew what she was doing. <laughs> Remember what you said, okay? We're gonna get to that story later. We're gonna get we're get to that. So, the night goes off. Uh, you know, there, there's a bonfire and whatnot, and then the following morning is when we started. Like, you know, whatever. I would. I had the, when I go camping. It's for me to just relax and just wander around, whatever. Do what you want to do. And I'm, I'm expecting my kids to do the exact same thing, to do what they want to do, right? For the most part, my oldest daughter, Malaya, did what she wanted to do. You know, she won. She didn't really wander off, but she wanted to go fishing. She wanted to do, do paddle boarding and whatnot. Um, my son, on the other hand, he she's just I don't know what was going on with him. <laughs> Harry? Let's put let's put some context here. So the, the 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 teenage girl, the teenage lady is Malaya, sixteen, fourteen, fourteen, and then the yeah. and Harry's eighteen. The Harry Harry is yeah, eighteen. Oh, yeah, gosh, he was just so, like his own little world this whole weekend. You know, it's he so was, strange uh, to think that you have an eighteen-year-old boy. So strange. Yeah. Well, t- I mean. He's my stepson, so he's not like my biological son. But still, you know, but like still, like two guys. Yeah. I know, right? Um, yeah. but he, Harry was like in his own little world today, this weekend. Like he 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 sit, sat by the fire, you know, being emo. Not oh, not emo, but he was just doing his own thing, you know. Mm. My other, my, on the other hand, my daughter, um, my, my youngest daughter, Arya, is like wandering around, exploring the, the rocks or whatever, playing with the dog. And um, Malaya just will do this and that here and there. Um, for the most part, we fished, as you saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I've never really gone and been in, like, he never my he likes a fishing that day. But as of lately, I've been into it, you know. And yesterday, I caught my first fish in the morning. Mm. It was kind of cool, you know. I I like sat there for an hour, literally. Mm. Were you kids with you, or were you fishing by your lonesome self? I was by myself for the most part, and then my daughter came down. That's when I caught the fish. Mm. You know, because I I tossed. I had the 
the I reeled it out. I mean, I launched it out, and then when my daughter came down, that that's when the fish bit. But at night, in the evening time, my uh, daughter Malaya was actually fishing over there, but at the pier as well, same place I was at, uh, by herself for the most part, and she actually caught a bass as well, a small bass, mm. sea bass. This is catch and release, or, or you bass. get to eat it. You can actually cook it if you want, mm. but we we released it and just you know, whatever. Mm. Mm. But it was pretty cool, you know, to be able to like you're sitting there casually. Doing whatever, thinking, chatting with random people, and then all of a sudden, you got a fish. Mm-mm. You know, parang yung uh, feeling ng um, um, like in a way, there's something you you got something out of all the time that you spent there. It felt <laughs> good, you know. Yeah, yeah like uh, aside from bug bites and right, right, and then um, we had a problem though on the on the next morning. So you saw that um, I saw a picture of our little gas range. It's a with a butane tank, right? Mm, mm, mm. So as soon as I woke up, I turned everything on. It turned on, right? Mm. I was able to warm up some water and whatnot. But I didn't realize butane tanks. As you're using it, the butane tank gets cold, mm. and when it gets too cold under cold weather. It's not going to work anymore. And okay. basically, the gas stove, the lo- the gas line actually froze too much that it actually broke the stove. Oh, like yeah. it cracked a, a hose? Yeah, it cracked the hose. I saw it. I mean, I was like, what the F am I going to do now? I got my wife's got to cook and whatnot. Hmm. We have to feed the kids. There's no water for coffee. Hmm. Well, oh, here na I am. Dun sa tabi tabi. <laughs> right, right. Well, we, there's a fire pit, you know, where there's actually meron siya yung parang grates that you can cook on top of, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, my wife and I were like talking. I'm like telling my wife, listen, I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna drive 20, 20 minutes out mm-hmm. to buy a, a a new one. Can you just stay here and just wait for me at the mm-hmm. campsite? Okay. All right. Fine. She goes wife. Hmm. While I'm gone driving to buy a new grill and all that stuff, mm. my wife, who's never gone camping in her life, butches it up. I kid you not. Hero of the day. She's mm. like cooking breakfast on Wait, the fire itself. You didn't tell me this. She's never gone camping. She's never gone camping ever. Ever. This is her first time. Along with the rest of the kids, of course. Right, mm-hmm. but I didn't even think to to cook on the open flame with the pots and pans. Right, <laughs> she's, she's like cooking on there. She cooks scrambled eggs, pork and mm-hmm. beans. Uh, she had bread. She on got top of that, like two pieces forgot, of rock, and like how no, she didn't I mean, have a trouble wood. lighting it up. Yeah, and and we had a lighter. You know, there's an actual log fire i mean log wood for fire for the fire pit oh okay so she so before you left you didn't think about doing that no no <laughs> not at all you okay. know because i'm an idiot yeah kami naman na and niluto namin sinigang. <laughs> oh see that would have been easy to, <laughs> if we had uh kung meron kaming um ito ito nung nagcamping kami Bukas pa ang ano, palengke. As in, namalengke pa talaga. Oh. <laughs> the night, was it the night before or yeah, in the, the morning? The night before. The night before. Ay, hindi, nene, kasi that we were cooking that night. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So b- before we got to the campsite, we, we passed by the market, got our meats and everything, and then cooked in the fire at night. And of course, we were lighted, lit up with cell phones and you know, right. little tiny. How how what was the lighting situation there? Did it did they provide food? Uh, did they provide water and? Well, there's actually a like a water source, also an electric source where you can plug in. Because mm-hmm. each campsite has one, but lighting wise, there's no light. This this was our our lamp. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it's actually a, one of those uh, lamp, but it was kind of cool because it, you know, you can take this off, walk oh. around with it. It's a lamp as well. Hmm. That little gadgets you buy for stuff for whatever reason, you know. Yeah, cool, right? It still smells like <laughs> it still smells like smoke, and and it has a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> wow! Nah, hana man. Bluetooth. Oh, and you can charge your phone right there. What? what? <laughs> yeah, those little gadgets that they think about for camping. For me, you know what? The most important. I wanted to ask you this one. What was your most important um, tool or important uh, creature comforts for me? It's always been getting a chair. If I've if I've gone, yeah, like every time I go camping, it's like next time I'm gonna go camping, I'm gonna get a chair. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> the next time I'm about to go camping, I'm like, go, oh, I'm gonna mat it up and you know yeah. act like I know what I'm doing by not bringing a chair and just going minimal. And right. then now I right. realize there's like a chair that you could like fit in your back pocket. It's like. Uh-huh. What am I saving up for? I'm going to get myself a chair. Next time I'm going to go camping, I'm going to get myself a chair. And then it's like, where's that chair that I wanted to buy? Right, right. So, yeah. What was the creature comforts? Was there anything else that you wish you had with you? For Not really. I mean, we all had, we brought some chairs that we've already had. The same Mm -hmm. chairs that we use, like folding chairs. When we go watch uh, my daughter's softball game before, so we already had those chairs and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, but the big thing was the uh, sleeping bags, you know, I want and the uh, air mattresses, you know, not comfortable. Well, no, it was good. It was oh, actually. I'm glad that we brought it because you had all of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it's 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 pretty uncomfortable laying down just on a sleeping bag on like gravel and part grass, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Um, but it was uh my 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 wife while I'm driving and out trying to get a new grill, my wife was able to figure out how to cook over the fire. She she boiled some water, and the best part was the pork and beans that we brought. We forgot to bring a can opener, but she was able to use a bottle opener. Wow! And she used like the end part of it. Uh-huh. I mean, she was able to just like open it, I guess that way. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She didn't use her teeth. No, you can't use her teeth in a can, <laughs> a can, you ding dong. Or put it in knife. So did you stop, turn around, make a U-turn and go back? Or did you end up no, getting the I still butane? bought it. To mm. be quite honest with you, what I bought was like almost useless. It was, it was a waste of money because <laughs> it didn't work out. But it was, I took it home because we can use it here. You know, It was your manly, fatherly contribution to the... No. Dude, are you kidding me? No. I mean. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. But Malaya was like saying that mom did so much already, you know, and what she took care of the hero of the weekend was definitely AC. I mean, she Harry was having a hard time starting the fire, but for some reason, AC was like <laughs> <laughs> It's like she had like a witch's spell on the over the fire, like <laughs> fire, abracadabra. <laughs> and then here, using the same tools that my son used, and here my son was having a hard time building a fire. I don't know what happened, what she did, but <laughs> it it worked out. Um, also, I was having a hard time. Um, Putting together the uh, the the tent, but she was able to like you know just take care of the canopy. Me and Harry will take care of this or whatever, or Malay will take care of this. Yeah, it whatever. They did a good job. <laughs> and you're like next time I'm not gonna take you camping. I'm gonna go alone. I miss those <laughs> those days while I was camping by myself. I was a little <laughs> embarrassed. And worried that oh my god I'm gonna go with her and this is her first time camping right? Uh, I'm a ding dong that she did most of the work to begin with. I kid you uh, not because I have a broken leg, you know. Uh, I mean she she really butched it up. She she my wife showed the manly side <laughs> this weekend. 
<laughs> you know, it was great. Oh, you want to hear the worst part? Mm. So in yardage mm. wise, we're about 40 yards or 50 yards from our campsite to the bathroom. Mm. So I would wake up in the middle of the night, put on my boot no. <laughs> and try to wobble. I started wobbling a little bit towards the uh, the, the restroom. Mm. And I looked at it around. It was like peach dark, right? Really dark. Yeah. I'm like, screw this. I found the closest tree next to it. <laughs> mm. I just took a piss in that bad boy. <laughs> You mean it was too far? You couldn't make it. I couldn't make it because I I was literally trying to wobble with my boot and right. the cane. <laughs> you try walking in a boot and a cane on an uneven grassy field that's covered with pebbles and whatnot as well. In the dark. In the dark, exactly. Although I got kind of sketched out and freaked out in the morning the first night. Um no, no, no. So this, no, I take it back. So I did that the first time. I found a tree close by, the, like around three thirty or four in the morning that first mm. night. I woke up again because I need to go use the bathroom. Mm. So I'm like, you know what? That tree is too freaking far. So the closest thing to my to our tent was my car. So it was dark enough that I was thinking about just taking a piss right next to my car <laughs> on the tire or something, you know. Because you don't want to hear like all of a sudden being streamed that neighbors could hear and then like, oh, you're taking a piss, yada, 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 whatever. So I was about to walk over to my car and I got a little annoyed because my daughter walks out. Malaya, Malaya walks, <laughs> Malaya wakes up in the middle of the morning too. She's like, dad, I'm hungry. So here am I. Trying to like think in my head, you need to go back to the freaking tent so I can take a piss because I don't have time to walk all the way to the, mm. <laughs> to the, to mm. the rest. Did you tell her? Eventually, I didn't tell her that, but she did eventually. Oh. You know, like she could just tell that she needed to go back and give you your moment. No, 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 no. I, I don't think she knew. She thought, I think she thought she, I was just going <laughs> to get up. I got up already for the day and like walked out, you know. But that that wasn't the case on that one. <clears throat> Any wildlife close calls with wildlife or anything like that, or just that nature called moment? Uh, just our dog Peanut, who's a weirdo, looks like walking around like he's never been to nature or something. That dog's weird, man. Seriously, he's like a <laughs> house dog. <laughs> I mean, he is sniffing everywhere. Like here, he has his spots where you can just go take a piss at, right? Yeah. This morning, I watched him look and sniff at like nine different areas before taking a piss. Lost. Mm. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Indeed. Asong <laughs> bahay. Or bahay asong. Whatever. You know? <clears throat> to top it off. Alagang <laughs> bahay. Oh. Itong asong ito, parang wala lang eh, you know, type of thing. Like, there's other dogs in different campsites and they will like bark at Peanut, right? Mm. But Peanut will just like look at them and like, hmm, whatever. And just walk off. <laughs> Not even yeah. bark or react to it. He'll look at the dogs and then just walk away. That's it. He's like, I don't care. I don't give a crap. Leave me alone. <laughs> Our dog's like that too. He's been yeah. tied up to the kitchen floor for you know most of his life that he doesn't know right. what outside is. Yeah. yeah. And when he does finally does, he doesn't even know what dogs are. He's like eh, not interesting. <laughs> you know, but when the dogs outside here are in heat, he's like, I want to go right. out. I want to go out. Right. I want to go out and pee again, again, right. and again. Right. <laughs> But when they're not in heat, they're like, hmm, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> don't know you. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Yeah. But um, <laughs> wildlife or chipmunks, squirrels, that was it pretty much for the most part. Oh, no, there's some deer. You know, I saw mm. deer, deer, you know, that's pretty much it. But um, 
I was actually thinking about that. Like, what if a snake was able to crawl around our tent or something, you know? Mm. My dad is going to cause havoc. I mean, I was like, it looks pretty civilized. I mean, there's a parking area. You said, I think there's Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. But there's still enough wildlife that you yeah. can still. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that that place doesn't have is like a bear. They really, they were really like protect that area from bears, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, there's deer, there's whatever. Um, you can go fishing at the docks. That same dock we were fishing is where the boats and the jet skis and would would load and unload and all that stuff, you know. And it it was kind of it was really cool. I I used to go to that place years ago, like over a decade ago. I haven't been back since, you know. Oh, and you've been this there time before. Around, yeah, I've been there like. Mm -mm. I used to go there every year for like almost eight years mm -mm -mm. Um, in the early 2000s. And then um, it was um, being back was nice because I've always liked that place, you know, because it was, it was just para siyang ano talaga eh. Actually, in a way, parang bagyo because it's so hilly mm. and whatnot, but the whole place is surrounded with water. Mm -mm. It, it, it reminds me of John Hay without the lake. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, especially mile high where they had they, they had like a little baseball uh you know uh camping area like that also can you imagine yeah. I, you know what i'm talking about mile high at the top of the mm -hmm. the top yeah, of I've the hill here. that was a while ago though. that was a long time ago bro can you imagine they built like residential houses in that area already no. yeah there's a couple of buildings also and and these houses are not like the John Hay looking house type. Huh? As in, they look like practically like mansion, like small mansion that yeah, yeah, don't yeah. match up with the aesthetic of the rest of what John Hay used to look like. So it's really, it's really Hold in on. somebody else's hands now. Mile High, the backside past the, um, uh, I know what you're talking about, but it's past the golf course. And... Right. Oh, they built they tore down that lot no 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 that they, area? not the entire lot i think i there's still the i if i'm not mistaken i i still saw the the baseball field mm. but around the perimeter the because the, there's like a road that goes around all the way around yeah, the baseball yeah, yeah, field yeah. right oh uh. yeah so there's a couple of houses and then you know down that road there's a couple of high rise like five star buildings there that that mm. have risen up also it it looks really different i was telling telling christina yesterday that it's um you know, like john hay now looks a lot i mean it, it, it's there it's still there it's still trying to keep the aesthetic in in a way you know sort of embrace right. the historical right. past or whatever but you know the fact that some people, I think, uh, parang not all, but like, but, but, but so you get this feeling of, yes, it looks the same, but you know, there's some people that are hanging out the stuff that they're selling outside their stores. There's right. garbage is not as maintained as before, you know, development kind of thing. So I, oh, I was wondering oh. if it's, if it would be like this, if, if it's still uh, a US base or, I mean, obviously, probably not because, you know, they'd have different standards or what better. You know, I mean, there's Changi here and there. I mentioned about the 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 the, the hotels, you know, so it's, right. it's still got that that vibe if you look really closely. But overall, you know, obviously, it's got a different vibe to it. It's uh, managed uh, by a different group of people, so to speak. So I guess that makes uh, a, a big difference. And and right. they changed. I don't know if I mentioned this to you last time we talked about John. Hey, they closed the main gate, the original. I mean, uh, yeah, the main gate that you and I probably used to, and then they mm -hmm. started using the the gates on the sides, like where you had to pass oh, through. Oh, that's like, interesting, because before you couldn't really go through the side as much. Oh, interesting. That I kind of forgot, but right. So now the main gate itself is right. clo is closed. Oh, you oh. have to go. You have to go all the way around uh, right. for one reason or another. In it, they, they, they're probably building something or doing something with it. 
but right yeah so it's it's still got that aesthetic you know Baguio if, if you all over Baguio obviously you know right. if you if you'd look at little nooks and crannies you'd you'd look and feel the old the old Baguio or the old John Hay if if you know what you're looking for so to speak but you, if you know in the middle of Baguio they had that that lake or that I guess that yeah that uh, water where you could like a uh, paddle boat or whatever right. and around that you can actually rent bikes and whatnot bro um, it, what? it, that's also a man-made lake uh yeah, yeah i know that uh, uh is that Bur- gone burnham burnham lake no 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 it, it's there but can you believe the boats that you and i are probably used to seeing so so they're all they all look like uh the the the, the john hay boats that were right those probably all got holes already the boats that are there now is like 90% of the boats that are there now are like, are like swan. Uh, yeah, like yeah, ser- yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what material that is, but it's not wood. It's the, it's the, it's like almost plastic porcelain kind of mix of, uh, I don't classing wood. You're saying nababasag type. Like if you, re- if you hit it really uh, hard, um, fiberglass, fiberglass there. Oh, well, okay. it's probably not going to break, but it, it's it's not you know wood wood so burnham park right yeah with yeah uh, yeah the they have like swan swan yeah. boats there now and i remember as thing. a kid always wanting to go there to rent the bikes after the paddle boats mm-hmm. and we'd just go bike around that all the time and for snacks we would buy those um quail eggs from people you know the quail eggs that comes in a bag there's like five of them then you peel it or whatever it's they give you salt uh gosh how did we oh because we're comparing the the campsite the oh uh, if you tell tin if she's gonna go uh tiktok i want it now anyway oh yeah yeah she's oh no she's getting on it now the uh, what do you call this the John Hay also no 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 uh, going back to Burnham real quick I, I mentioned about the perimeter fence also that they that right, they built right, right? so now you, right. there's like a couple of entrances I mean it's generally open but you know now it kind of looks like the the Buckingham Palace with like a fence all around it kind of right place. but right. going back to John Hay though uh, we were there last year for like a tourism thing we were invited to do like a little hike with them I didn't realize that. All around Club John Hay, and you notice this when you're doing the hikes around the perimeter of John Hay. Uh, the military, I mean, it's a military base. They right. built, I didn't, I forgot about this when I was a kid. They built a whole bunch of um, fire hydrants in case there's a forest fire, They're like in the middle of the forest. Is that Imagine new? There, no, no, no. This was back in the Whenever it was built, ah, so I don't know if it's I working. Really noticed it, right, right. I only notice it now as an adult walking around, right. seeing like a fire hydrant, like in the middle of the forest. Like, so we were doing a hike, and it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense though. Yeah, that makes sense. So there, there's like they, they have a whole thing going on there, where just in case there's a forest fire, you know, there right. are fire right. hydrants in the middle of the. Of the four going back to you though. So yeah, sorry. What yeah, um, so this place, <clears throat> excuse me, Lake Racetown Resort in Pennsylvania. There's a lot of things to do there. There's actually um a water park not too far from there. You can actually rent uh a boat, you can rent jet skis, you can rent paddle boards, yada yada yada. Mm. It for the most part. You people rent out cabins or bring their own trailers and whatnot, you know, and a lot of people actually go there for for like, you know, spend a week there. Mm. Yeah, but since we were just camping, we decided, you know, I, I decided let's just do the weekend. We don't need to spend a whole week on a tent. You know what I mean? This entrance fee, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It was like uh, 60 bucks a day mm. for um, for the tenting area and whatnot. For the whole, doesn't matter how many people. No, 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 not at all. Um, but they do keep track of how many people is in your group, just in case something happens. Right, which makes sense. 
you know, mm-hmm. um, it was fun. I had a blast. I, the, the, as soon as you get out, got out of the car, it has that certain smell of like clear air. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, alamuna is like we're close to the water. There's trees around. Yung amoy ng parang malinis talaga yung amoy ba? You know. And it was a, it was good. It was, it was a good weekend. It was a relaxing weekend. Again, thank you to AC. So I'm just saying, you know, it's a good weekend. And she's sitting here saying, yeah, except for me, because she did all the work, most of the work, you know, whatever. She throws her two cent jabs and whatnot. Do what you're doing right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Why would you guys think of doing a camping trip all of a sudden? I don't know. I've, I just, I've always wanted to. Mm. I've always wanted to. It's just that never had the chance to really. Mm. We were going to go two weeks ago or three weeks ago, but r- weather wasn't permitting. And then on top of that, I broke my ankle. So, so I figured, you know what? Screw it. Broken ankle or not. I'll figure it out. You know, I'll make it work. So I went, we went and it works out still. Again, have... I couldn't have done it without uh, AC, though. I mean, she she like freaking took care of everything. She even set everything up inside of the tent where blew up the uh, the air mattresses and whatnot. Mm. What else? I don't even think about like it was good stuff, you know. It was, but overall, I think it was just relaxing. It was a good time. Would I go back again? I plan to go back maybe once or two two more times this year although i'm probably going to do a cabin this time you know oh you can rent cabins too yeah because they have actual log Mm -hmm. cabins Mm -hmm. over at lake racetown you know oh or rent an actual rv trailer and then just drag it with my truck Mm. you know you can do that too huh yeah, put it in, uh, and then uh, just set up over there and whatnot. You can rent yeah. the RV from from the outside, and Correct. then drag it, it there. Yeah, yeah RV, RV. I think there are a couple of vendors, but it's not really a big thing here. Or not a lot of people have big cars, but yeah, it's right. not a big. It's not often that you see someone hauling hauling something at the back of their truck or their car around here. I mean that kind of you know RV yeah. living, huh? Yeah. Man, RV living here though, I kid you not, it is but quite what, impressive. I do see every now and then is this overlanding thing where they build the tent like on the car on top on of the car, it, yeah. And, like that's where they spread out the that, tent and that kind of thing. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have like a, at first, but then I realized my wife and I talked about it. We realized that you know what. First time camping might be better to just have everybody in, under one roof. Mm. And if we had it on the truck, it's not going to work out, you know. Mm. Yeah, I think it was a perfect setup for you guys. Yeah, it worked I mean, out pretty good. Judging from the photos and what you guys did, you know, yeah. like the 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 kind of tent that you guys got, the size. Right. What were you saying, babe? Yeah, we've seen that one. She was talking about the Jeepney RV house and whatnot in the Philippines. You know, the, yeah. the guy. Yeah, we've seen that one. Yeah. yeah no, but here, sense. it's like there are RVs out there that are nicer to live in than some houses over here. It's insane. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's it. I'm so actually two weeks ago, two weekends ago, we went to an RV expo. Mm. expo show where all these rvs are out on display and whatnot right i kid you not i saw one that has two levels in it on each end right wow yeah it has the sides that extends out like that if it extends out and then on each end of the rv you have to literally go to the second level and there's a bedroom there and the next level over the other end is like mm. another bedroom there. But from the outside, it looks like just one big bus. Correct. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus, really? Yeah. I mean, it has like marble countertops, fridge, everything you will find in an apartment. It's lo- in there. 
I love those things because, I mean, if I was an engineer type of thing or an architect that would design something like that, I love the idea right. because it's like, you know, every inch is useful for something or useful exactly. for, for two or three things. And the kids would be crawling into spaces that you didn't know existed. Right. But right. I've been wanting to ask you, was there something that you forgot to bring that you wish you had with you? Or did you bring the whole house? <laughs> Oh, well, we forgot a can opener. That's for sure. Remember, I told you my wife had to use the other end of a small knife thing. Mm -hmm. to like, mm -mm -mm -mm. you know, we forgot a can opener. Um, I forgot uh, lights, proper lightings for the outside. Mm. You know, my wife actually suggested to buy these vine lights that would have worked perfectly. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know uh, what I'm talking about? Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I'm an idiot. I don't know why I didn't get it. So yeah. maybe, maybe I was being cheap. If you said that to me or if Christine said that to me here, I would have been like, what? We're going to go camping. Why are we going to bring like mood lights? Right, right. <laughs> now, I, I, we were definitely. For a family to go for a first time, we overpacked. That's mm. for sure. Yeah. But we also underpacked in regards to the important stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. Or stuff that we know we could have used better. Like I said, better lighting, uh, maybe a can opener <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah, and if but, you had your truck with you, you know, and you're parked right beside it, I don't think it's a big deal. But if you're hiking to the campsite, then that right. would be on another level. Right, right. Well, I mean, still, it was it would have been nice to have it even, you know, just for a little bit. But I think next time we go, I think I'm going to rent the trailer. But I don't mm. know if I'm going to drag it all the way, like an RV trailer. Mm. I think I'm going to rent one. I don't know if I'm going to rent it here. And so you can have a all the way toilet closer to you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm hoping that my leg will be OK by that time already, you know? Right. But the real reason is you don't want to walk yeah. at night in the dark no it's not that i <laughs> i think it'd just be nice to be able to have all the frugalities of life mm. on like an outlet that we know <laughs> it's just easier mm. i think it'd be fun you know i That's oh and we forgot so to bring so you could rent those out there. I mean, here you, they're they're doing it for they're they're selling it there. I don't think they have it for for rent. You can rent it here. But Actually, you what you're saying so is like I, a it's like a hotel room that you could take with you, right? But you can act. Here's even one better. Mm. Um, camping Depot, uh, or not cam Camping World is the name of this place. Okay, if you Google Camping World, mm. USA, Chantilly, whatever, it's actually not too far from my house. It's like thirty minutes away. But if you're going, I'm in Virginia. Lake Racetown Resort is in Pennsylvania. You can actually find or they will find a trailer RV for you to rent mm. and then they will deliver it at, on site already. Mm. Yeah. So when big... I get there, it's already there. Yeah, it's a it's a big industry there here. Yeah, it's, the, I think yeah, it's it still is. a bit niche sort of. Yeah, no, definitely I mean, it is. Yeah, you know? people that only have extra money and time for it will do it. It's not really a well, surprisingly enough at the rv expo that we went to you can actually decently buy a 20 21 feet long big rv mm. trailer for like eighteen thousand dollars you know what i mean and then you pay it monthly basis for the next 10 years or whatever so it's not bad you know and then you can take it with you anywhere it's it's big enough to sleep five people. There's a bathroom. You can cook in there. There's a fridge, a microwave. It has AC, mm. has heater. It'd be nice if we actually have one because it'd be so much cheaper to go to Florida and to like Orlando Disney World with that thing. Because All right. to, if you, you can... go to Animal Kingdom, you can oh. actually park in Animal Kingdom right, right in their park. You know, right. and it's only like eighty dollars a day or whatever, if even less if you right, have your own. Right, right. As opposed to like having to get a hotel. 
Correct. And you can go anywhere to like really with it. We can travel, go to the beach and just right. have it that. So so you'd be telling the kids, so guys, I have an idea. We go to a theme park. Well, how about we combine theme park plus camping together? Right, right. <laughs> See? Be nice, you know. You can take it take it anywhere, really. So Plus you can like drive all over the country with it. The next morning, uh AC saves the day coming up with her own fire. What did you guys have for breakfast? So she makes she cooks this all. Okay. She didn't send me the picture, but there's this fan. Okay. This is a camping <laughs> fan that we bought, by the way. Uh -huh. That actually turns into a that's also a light. You know, there's also a light that's big enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this there's a pan that's about this size, if not smaller, that you can use to cook over open flames like open fire mm. okay so, para on that para siya nagbebenta ng barbecue doon right <laughs> pero <laughs> pero biruin mo ah, nakapagluto siya ng scrambled eggs uh, 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 pork and beans and bread mm. Wait, I, I'm, I'm all curious. in that one pan paulit uh, ulit yung ginawa I got a how, how do the you know the neighbors the non-filipino neighbors that you had how do they do their cooking would they do something like that well, they, they all had their trailer rvs <laughs> <laughs> nobody's cooking on the open fire on the grill so so there's us in a tent uh, and there's one two three four five six trailer rvs surrounding us <laughs> yeah so your neighbors are probably like looking through their <laughs> they're pro their probably their like, blinds on the on their rv they're like hey look at that right, cute little right. filipino family over there that little age are they filipino they might be vietnamese or thai uh, they're, the they're, thing, they're asian though right the good they, thing is in the other end of our of the of the the dock area there's another asian family that's also on a in a tent also. but they're at the other side so we can't even see them <laughs> and then i was i'm wondering which one there is uh who's chinese there who's ones who's oh. using chopsticks <laughs> but these guys right. are they is is that guy using his hands to eat <laughs> do you smell vinegar where's that coming from <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it was um. <laughs> <clears throat> Overall, it was fun. Yeah, it so was you good. guys, but you stayed there two nights, though, right? Yeah, we stayed there two nights. Yeah. So how would you manage the food situation for the second night? Did you bring like coolers or refrigerator? Yeah, you bring a cooler. You had to go out and get food again. You, know, you bring your food and then you just put in a cooler overnight. Yeah, and so the cooler yeah. would keep the food yeah. for two nights. Yeah. This morning, mm. we all wake up. We woke up pretty early, packed up as quick as we could, loaded in the truck, and we left like around hmm, 9 30. Mm. And then we got home at noon here. And it was perfect timing. As soon as we got in the car, and drove off five minutes later it started raining so it was perfect oh we were blessed with good weather this weekend thank you very much you know nice. um it was nice it wasn't cold but at, at night though it got cold it got pretty cold at night and in the morning i have to admit was it kind of like daily city cold overall or how does the weather fare a or little bit colder like than Daly City. New York a cold. Bit. Oh, right. Yeah. East Coast. And then you're a little like New York yeah. level, though, yeah. right? Yeah. A little bit colder than Daly City, but it was manageable. Overnight, it was manageable. If it went down like another 5, 10 degrees, oh, it mm. would have been freezing, freezing, freezing. Yeah. And like you said, it was cold enough to crack the hose of the stove. Right. And it was a uh, wet cold, just like AC said, you know. Yeah. 
So it was good. It was good. It was kind of annoying that we didn't have um what here's the stupid part. I was really looking forward to like that whole having the stove to cook, the camping stove. Mm. To cook stuff properly, have to constantly have hot water running so that just in case you want coffee or whatnot, because we brought coffee too. And I wanted to, you know. Mm. And it was like a pain in the ass not to have it. It was a shame. And that kind of dampened my my camping experience for the most part in regards to it. So yeah. I, I spaced out for a second there. What did you what 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 dampened? It dampened my it that was like the bad mood for the which bad one? thing that kind of affected my entire weekend. Wh- which one? Which one? Sorry. The stove broke the breaking. stove uh, like yeah. ruined the whole thing. Uh, it sucked, you know, because I wanted to have hot water constantly running. That's where the, you know, the the adventure begins when something yeah, goes that's wrong. True. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing was great. I had so much fun fishing, to be honest with you. I loved it. You know, casting your your rod and, or your line, mm. sitting there for 10 minutes and then. Yeah, I saw the pictures. There's like a nice little dock there. Yeah, yeah. Huh? So I caught one during the day, and then Malaya caught one at night. I mm. think my son was a little bit off by it because he's the one that's been fishing longer than me and Malaya together. <laughs> Amateurs. <And> he... <laughs> I was like, look, check it out. And then my daughter caught she was one in the afternoon. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was good. Anywho, what about you? <sighs> so yesterday you woke up early thinking we were recording, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? You were the one that wanted to change the schedule. Alarm kasi yung phone Yeah, no, no, no. Actually, no, aside from the alarm, so I thought it was already Monday morning here. The other thing was the night before I was already thinking it was Sunday night for for some <laughs> why reason. No, maybe because I slept like in the afternoon, I took a little afternoon nappy, something like that. I don't know. This I was is just so, why your sleep schedules all messed up. It's so much better now than it was, you know, the past couple of months. I'm getting yeah. there. It's, I'm just having a little birth pains. It's taking much longer than I expected to fix it. But, you know, that's the problem with not having a job, like a specific working for somebody or else I'm going to get fired right. kind of job. You know, I'm right. trying out this whole freelance thing, doing it on my own. Even the delivery thing if I that I could do as a job, you know, it's it's basically freelancing. I can do it when, when I can. If If... I could if I wanted to, but lately, no, I've, I've really been digging, putting my head in the sand with this, with this editing thing. And I'm almost done. I'm like just one. Jesus I'm making Christ, dude. It's taking forever. Honestly, I would have fired your ass a long time ago. I would have mm-hmm. fired you and asked for a refund yeah. because that's not cool. I'm making seven videos for a client who's nice enough not to. But to, to throw me in the barangay and complain and say, though, oh, we are paid this guy. And, but they haven't paid me in full. They just paid me because the way we structured the contract was. No, no, I'm not making excuses for myself. I'm just saying. Nah. OK, OK. It just sounded like it. No, 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 no. I mean, it's still my fault. And I'm even thinking of not letting her pay anymore for the last bit. Well, don't do that. But, stupid. And and yes, there's a little bit of a timeline that I screwed up. But at the same time, you know, when I asked her to send me the script, I thought it was going to be like a five page script. It turned into a 15, 20 page script. So that's been your excuse since the beginning. But I wanted just to share this bit, not as an excuse, okay. but the all way right, that we right. structure the contract, the payment schemes was, you know, right. they, would, they would be, I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, pre-production production and then post-production kind of thing so right. every like stage forward or every level forward that's the only time that i ask her to pay me so let's say i finish writing the or i finish uh what did i do like you know let's say i wrote the script so I was, I, when i finish writing the script that's when she'd pay me for for that bit and then i'd shoot 
should pay me after I shoot. And then now I'm just editing it and putting everything together. Don't you think that you can be the sooner you can get this done is the sooner you can get another job, like another client to which, like expand your portfolio, which is another problem because another one came in and then now they're overlapping each other because I'm writing a script for the next client and I'm still trying to finish editing for this previous one. Get cracking. What do you do that is not getting done? Right. That's right. That's what I thought. Alam so bala. anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I, I mean, as much as I think that it's great that you're being able to have this freedom and whatnot with your schedule because you're working for your own boss, which I'm jealous of, to be honest with you, you're your own boss. Um. But damn, dude, way too long, bro. Way too long. I just realized I forgot to turn my watch on. How much time do we have left? Nine minutes. Whew. Ten it's minutes. It's going to be hot for the say. next nine minutes. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be hot. <laughs> oh, I can go live now on the. But uh, yeah, you want me to tell you a little bit about that or what I kind of got myself lost into the past couple of days? I mean, sure. So I did realize that I was like really screwing up my life with this, you know, not finishing up this job that I'm supposed to be doing. Right. So right. I've, I've gone through all like the therapy, like how to how to be productive, how to do the thing that you don't want to do, but do it anyway. Kind of thing, you know, do like the adult oh, thing. You're you're paying therapy to tell you to do what you have to do. Yeah. And then one of the things that I kind of thought about or came across was like, oh, how about if I do like the Pomodoro technique and just, you know, time myself when I do the editing? So I started like Googling or, you know, YouTubing, like looking for like the, the correct timer kind of video that'll, you know, work with me for like an hour or I ended up looking at like study with me videos, right? Yeah, that's a waste of time. Bro, oh. some of these videos are like four, six, eight hours long. Yeah, so you spent that much time when you could have been doing your work. No, well, no, I'm not watching like all eight hours because I'm not okay, actually so working many, and studying and waste looking at all these videos. eight hours. Just a lot of time, enough time, <laughs> more than I should have been working. But I'm sorry. I, I mean... Uh, to me, it's like, this is crazy. It's too much, dude. Too much. Get it done. The yeah. sooner you get it done, the sooner you can have free time. The sooner you have free time, the sooner you can take a new job or a new client. Then the sooner you can make a new client, the more money you make. The sooner I make money, the sooner I can go camping. And the crazy, the, you know what the worst part about this is? What's happening? It's all under your control. It's not easy being an, ad an adult. Are you? It's yeah, it's not easy. But oh, my God, dude, it's too simple. It's too simple. Yeah, it is. Which is what makes it difficult. I'm not making any excuses for myself. All right. I'm 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 a deadbeat dad. Deadbeat. Uh, what do you call like? I don't want to use. Is there, what's another word for like a loser? Loser. A <laughs> big loser. <laughs> Yeah. No, you're not a loser. You know what you are? You're just a procrastinator. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Procrastinating like crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Got to get over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the biggest problem there. It's the yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can you taste uh, no, yung linuluto ko? Can you taste my food? Just don't bother me for the next hour, okay? Can, <laughs> can you just taste the food? I, 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 wala akong palasa. I, five I can't seconds. taste. I, yeah, five seconds. Di mabigay. Yeah, can, can you? Oh, oh, I forgot to buy um um a pineapple tidbits. Can you go to the Sari Sari store and buy an apple Okay, tidbits? now that's like, different. Now, can, if you have to you, go do stuff Can't her. you do it yourself? Yeah, pero nagluluto ako. I'm cooking something right now. Oh, I forgot to buy patis in the talipapa. Can we go patis in the talipapa? <laughs> well, no, because that also depends too. But if you're doing, if she's doing that to you while you're in your computer, supposedly, 
Are you actually doing work or are you just skimming YouTube What's or whatever? YouTube. Oh, see, there's oh a God. difference there. Well, uh, uh, what time is it? I don't want to schedule here. We got, we got here. six I more minutes I of torture got... here. Tapos di malabas nagaya na ako lumabas tara labas tayo ayo talaga. That's only been three minutes. Man, yeah. What was the weather like in uh, the campsite that you were? <laughs> oh, I asked that already, though, right? Yeah, yeah. The the, the, wet, the question is like, it's getting hot, huh? <laughs> in it sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Grabe, no? So, <laughs> bro, I mean, I'm just saying, okay? I mean, it don't it doesn't make sense to me how something could take this long when it's that simple. I mean, it's not simple. Per se, but it's simple enough that it shouldn't be taking this long. Yeah. Like how much, if you don't mind me asking, estimate wise, how much are you getting paid for this project? Reasonable. What like, do you mean? Is it enough to sustain the whole time period that you've been doing this project so far? Oh, no. Oh, so, so how, how do I, you expect to make more? I practically spent everything that was paid for to me already. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is so bad. Whew. It is hot here. See, he, so, 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 in the Philippines, you can live, people can live li their lives that way, you know? Here you can't, you know. Here you have to work, to work, 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 because you gotta pay for everything, right? The flip side of that in the Philippines is, you don't really have to work if you don't have to. Plus, you have a roof over your head, you get food that's going in your mouth. It's hard, you know. You can take your time. So, what advice would you give to someone who's planning their first camping trip? What I would say really is. Pack lighter. You know, pack. <laughs> really? <laughs> so you, how about you a checklist? On, you ask the question. And double check the, question, the checklist. What is the first advice that you would give the first time camper, right? Yeah. You know what my wife's answer is? Right. She said, pack your wife. <laughs> Make you make sure you bring her along. Make sure you bring her along as long as she does everything and that she'll do something. So okay, having back. said that, would you go camping again alone? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't mind going camping with my wife. Mm. Knowing now that my wife can survive out there. Damn, dude, let's go. No, but would you go camping alone? Like, honey, I'll be out for the weekend. I'll be back on no, Sunday. No, not much. Honestly, I, 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 I probably maybe one time, but not much because like, babe, I kind of miss going alone. Do you mind if I go alone, you know, with the boys or? <laughs> no, I, I like spending time with my wife, though. That's a difference. I'm OK with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mas gusto ko na makasama yung asawa ko. Nalulungkot yeah. mm. ako pag hindi. Kasi ano eh, there's nobody annoying. Quick story before we go. <laughs> so we went camping. We were all really packed light, right? Because we were limited right. by space and everything. And we were just on a motorcycle. So we had like a tent, some sleeping. No, we didn't even have sleeping bags. We just had like a little really thin earth pad. Anyway, so we're really camping light. But we were going to a place where, you know, people actually live there, except that we were living in a tent and they had a house, but we mm. were sleeping on their little field there. So private property, private property. But the thing was, so we planned out the whole idea of doing the marketing. But so I said, like, but can we cook? Like, yeah, we had like utensils and that kind of thing and everything. So we were confident with what we had. Mm. Next thing I know. She's knocking at the door of the property caretaker property. kind of owner. Yeah. And she's cooking with like palayok and paluto ng kanin and everything. <laughs> 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 that kind of defeats the purpose, huh? Okay. As long as we're eating tonight. 
you know. But yeah, we had like yeah. one little tiny stove, that kind of thing. And she ended up like she she ended up cooking on the fire and on the tiny stove. On nagluto ka ba dun sa stove sa side hindi, no? No, no, just on the fire. But right, but, right, right. Yeah, but ito, ano eh, Amazona. Anong kakahiya? Like, what was I doing? Like, managing the lighting situation and just making sure that the motorcycle wasn't getting, right. you know, getting stolen. <laughs> oh, one thing that I should have brought that I was actually planning, um, I forgot to bring a, uh, even though there was a power source, like a power outlet, Mm. It, it would have been better if we had like a power station because the power outlet is at one area then you can only plug in there you mm-hmm. know what i mean mm-hmm. having a power station you can plug everything in the power station a like charger a, a uh, big rice big cooker if you want you know battery I mean? yeah yeah so that was the only thing I mean, here in the Philippines, if that was happening, we'd be, you know, like jump starting the car, <laughs> like just to get some. Oh, kayaan, get ano? Kuryente, sige, kaya pa yan. Alisin yung baterya ng motor, ano? Tapos kasama. Yeah, there was a. Uh, ano tayo nang nang babalot? Basa one of the vendors on the talipapa at right, night right. one time. We had, I saw one of them have like lights all over the place and everything. Hooked up to a motorcycle battery that's like this small. Yeah. Hmm. But, but that's crazy. Galing, uh. Marta. <laughs> Where did yeah. here? I mean, I had two power banks mm. plus, like I said, the lamp that I, the lamp that we had. You can actually plug in there to charge your phone, Mm-mm. and then even the fan has a charging port in the back where Mm-mm. you can. This this battery is strong enough to charge a phone as well. I was like, damn things that they come up with now to like uh you can charge things on everything it's crazy yeah the the led situation i think is what made a lot of difference because it's it's not eating up as much energy so they could do like a lot of stuff with the battery that's true that's right? true yeah yeah anywho uh Ooh. we are at time I think we're good to go for the day. Uh, anything you want to add? I hope I just hope my kid and I hope my family is not watching this episode about the, that last part where I talked about. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing that would I would like to add. Actually, okay. I would like to subtract if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good try. <laughs> good try. Good try. <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Uh, again, uh, we appreciate your support. Hit the like button, su- uh, support us, share, or whatever, subscribe. Anyway, episode 78 down the drain. This is the flip side with Jay Noel. My name is Jay. Name's Noel. Catch you guys later. On, On the, the flip side. side. Fishing, fishing, fishing. <laughs> Look, I got one. <laughs> hey, it was a good feeling. I felt great. <laughs> you can catch the full episodes on youtube.com at The Flip Side with Jay Noel. Full episodes uploaded every Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs>